Does Blender hide cool stuff from beginners? Sad but true. See if you have a cube with couple of cuts and you want to place this cone on each face, you might think I need to position it right then, copy it around, and that's a wrong approach. Because with one button, you can do this, and it might look stupid at first, but this will open the door to many cool things. This dope tool I used is the tissue add-ons, which used to be build inside Blender, but now you need to go to the extensions and install it, totally free, and kind of have a weird name for its functions. So what about if we want to add pattern to facade or fences or any other elements? The process is now simple. I can import any geometry pattern into Blender as a DXF file, and there are many free ones online. I might not use it entirely since it's better to go with a squared pattern, so let's take a portion of it, just a small part, move it aside, then hit P to separate it. Now we can get the surface we have, and it's better to match it with the pattern, so go with a square cut or something close to that, because the pattern will be stretched on the face. Once you're done cutting, we can select the pattern first, then hold shift and pick the surface, and from the tissue menu, choose tessellate. The tessellate will generate a new object, and you will get the pattern on each face, and that's quite impressive. You can go to the tissue settings in the data properties to modify this. Cause we went with the default the first time and you will have the same option once you add it again with the ability to adjust that at any time, especially the modes. I usually go between the quad and the fan types. The fan one is just amazing. The frame will also place the pattern around each face so it might be handy. And if you encounter any issue doing it on many faces at once, Make sure you're on relative. You can take this and have fun with it as a mesh or as a curve to give it some thickness. You can also assign a collection to tessellate on the surface. Like if I have those two objects as a collection, I can do one of them with the surface as before, then from the data settings, switch it to collection and you will have it scattered like this by playing with the seeds. Another cool function for the tissue is the ability to convert the object into curves. Because although it's a default in Blender, but the mesh is opened or made by many parts, you will only get stupid results. But with the tissue, the result is quite nice with one click. The contour lines are also something of a shortcut here, so no need to add planes along the mesh and cut them with Boolean. Just one hit and you're done but make sure the mesh is above the grid level before using it. You can explore the dual mesh converter, which can give you nice set of patterns to use in many cases for walls or as a skin. The tissue add-on is probably one of the most packed tool with buttons, so you can explore that. And those buttons changed based on the mode you at. So in object mode or edit mode or even the weight paint, you will get a different set of functions to go through. Like if we go to weight paint on a subdivided plane, you can hit the reaction diffusion, then play the animation and click on it with the brush, and you will see a nice gradient generates along the mesh. I don't know what the main purpose for it, but I know if we mixed those weight animation with different modifiers, the result can go nice. The reaction diffusion will generate two vertex group, and you can go down to the tissue properties to enable using modifiers. Then we can go with the displace modifier or the wave one, like any modifier that makes visible changes and has a vertex group field in it. So we can add an effect and make it generates along those colors while we're clicking. Some subdivision is also nice. So drop a subsurface modifier on it. Use a cloud texture in the displace maybe then add the B group in the modifier and watch what happens. You can go back to the data settings and play with the reaction diffusion values to make the effect more visible, fasten it up, or make it on a narrower area. And that's it. Hope this been fun to watch. Like and sub if you're still here and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.